Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday School, First United Methodist Church. I'm glad you could join us today. Well, today is the third Sunday in Advent, and so we're going to light our candles here in a little bit. Um, going to um, have a short session for Sunday School today because we have a special program during worship, and I have some people coming to get ready for that, so I have to um, get up to the sanctuary a little earlier than normal. So we're going to have about 15 minutes for Sunday school today, so I'm just going to jump right in. So jump right in with me, all right? So I'm so glad that you are joining me. Don't forget to like the video or leave a comment that you're joining me this morning so I know that you're with me because it just makes me feel so happy when I know that you guys are joining with um, with me here in Sunday school at First United Methodist Church. So we're going to jump right in. So our Bible story today is from the book of Matthew. Matthew is the first book in the New Testament, and it's the first of the four Gospels that tells the story of Jesus' life and ministry um, here on earth. And so um, today's story is going to tell us about when the angel came to visit Joseph, okay? And Joseph you may or may not know, is um, the earthly father of baby Jesus. So listen as we read from Matthew um, chapter 1, verses 18 through 24. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. When Mary, his mother, was engaged to Joseph before they were married, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man. Because he didn't want to humiliate her, he decided to call off their engagement quietly. As he was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife because the child she carries was conceived by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Now all of this took place so that what the Lord had spoken through the prophet would be fulfilled. Look, a virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did just as an angel from God commanded and took Mary as his wife. Emmanuel, God with us. So in our Advent study, Incarnation, we are learning about all the different names that the gospel writers used to refer to Jesus, and one of those is Emmanuel, and that means God with us. And God is always with us wherever we go, no matter what we're going through. And so when you feel sad or afraid, or you're just not really sure what, you know, what to do, Always remember that you can pray to Jesus and he hears you and he will always be with you to comfort you and help you feel better. And, you know, we have people in our lives, too, that can help us with that, right? There's adults that we have in our lives, maybe a mom or dad, a grandpa, grandma, um, a teacher, our pastor, um, maybe a special friend or an aunt or an uncle. Anybody that you can think of that you that you feel safe with, that person is somebody that can that can help you during those times too. Okay, so God is with us all the time, and no matter what's going on in our life, God is with us, Emmanuel. And so Jesus came on Christmas Day to prove to God's people that he is with us all the time, and he came to live with us here on earth to help us to know him better and to re always remember that he is with us no matter what. And so that can help us to experience great joy. 
which leads us into our third Sunday for Advent, right? Because remember, there's four Sundays in Advent, and that is our waiting time, our preparation um, to get ready for Christmas and the birth of Jesus. So I'm going to light our candles. If I can get this match to light, These, this box of matches is kind of worn out. Aha! So first we lit the candle of hope. Oops, that was our first candle. Oh my goodness. And then we lit the candle of peace last week. And today we light the pink candle. And that is the candle of joy. Because Jesus came to earth. God came to earth in the form of a baby. Jesus. Emmanuel, God with us. And so that brings us great joy. So I would ask you, what brings you joy? What are some of the things that bring you joy? I know that my kids and my grandkids bring so much joy into my life. They make me laugh. Sometimes they make me laugh so hard I cry. I just, it's so, they're so funny. My dogs and my kitties bring me great joy. So feel free to share all the things that bring you joy in your life. And one of the things that brings me the most joy is knowing that no matter what, that God loves me and God always wants what's best for me. And he will never, ever leave me, no matter what. That brings me the most joy. Right? Yay. So I posted something. And of course, it's on my phone, so I can't reference it. And I didn't make a copy of it, because I'm just kind of silly that way. Um, but I posted something before Sunday school, and it says joy. And it's a little poem about joy. But I have a friend. Her name is Jessie Lee. And she is a member of our church. She used to be a teacher, and she has taught me so much. I did Bible study with her, and I just, I miss Jessie Lee. I miss seeing her in church. I miss seeing all of you. Another thing that brings me great joy is getting together with all of my church family. Um, but one of the things she taught me, she taught me what the letters in the word joy stand for, J-O-Y. And so I am going to pass that along and teach you what that means. So... J-O-Y, what brings us joy? Well, if we put Jesus first, so that's the J, put Jesus first in our lives. If we always remember that Jesus, our relationship with Jesus always comes first in our lives. The O stands for others. After Jesus, we think of others. What can we do to help others? How can we serve others? Are we sharing with others? How can we give to others who are in need? And then third is you, J-O-Y. So Jesus, others, you. So we think of Jesus first, others second, and then you, ourselves, third. And that brings the greatest joy. So if I put my relationship with Jesus first, and I always remember that he is first in my life, and then I remember that I want to share with others and give to others and help others, and then I can think of, okay, what do I need? What do I got to do? That will bring me the greatest joy. But if I only think of myself, and I don't worry about you or anybody else, and I just think of my own selfish needs, then, I mean, I might feel okay for a minute, but after a while, it just kind of eats at you, you know? Because, I don't know, we're, we're social creatures. We want to be in community with each other. And so when we treat people poorly and we put them last and we, we only think of ourselves, in the end, that doesn't really make us feel very good. So, Jesus, others, you. J-O-Y. That will bring you joy. Yay. Okay. 
So I also posted on our Facebook page a coloring page for you, and that page shows Joseph and the angel visiting Joseph in his dream. And so you can always remember that if you are worried about something, because Joseph was really worried about this situation, and he just didn't know what to do. And he didn't want to hurt Mary. You know, he loved her. He was going to marry her. But he just wasn't sure what to do in this situation. It was a different time, and he didn't know what to do. And so he was thinking about calling off their, their engagement. He was going to end their, their marriage. And he was thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And in a dream, God answered his prayer. God told him in a dream, had an angel visit him in a dream, say, don't be afraid. It's okay. And so sometimes when we have a problem that we're, wrestling with and we don't know what to do sometimes somebody will come into our life and say oh well maybe you should do this and and sometimes that's God's way of speaking through another person to help us make a decision right so that little picture when you color it you can hang it up and that will help you to remember maybe that God is always with you and will help you make good choices too in your life when you face those difficult situations, okay? All right, let me look at my little book here. Make sure I don't have anything else for you guys. Um, okay, I don't think so, I think that's it. So if you guys wouldn't mind, if you would, Join me in prayer. We have our three candles lit. Don't they make a pretty light? It looks really cool on my phone. I don't know what it looks like to you guys out there, but I just love candlelight. It's very soothing to me. So we have hope, we have peace, and now we have joy. The third Sunday in Advent. Christmas is going to be here before we know it, guys. Let's have a prayer. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus into the world. God with us. Thank you for bringing joy into our lives and help us to remember that you come first, others come second, and that we are important too. Help us to love you and love others this Advent season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me today for Sunday School. I hope that you will watch our worship um, service today at 10. We have our special Christmas program. And so um, it's going to be something totally different than we've ever done before. I had a lot of fun putting it together. And so please be sure to join us at 10 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. Thanks, everybody.